Hey, explorers. Just thought I'd record this little bit of road. This section of EP 469 in the El Paso Mountains. Just kind of neat road, you know? I don't know if I'll actually keep this recording or not. You never know until you look, go back and look at them on your computer. But it's just unique, I think. He's driving over solid sandstone. I've come up here before, you know, and thought, man, this looks like a place you'd find mortar holes at. Haven't ever found a single one. So, you know, it just goes to show you, Native Americans picked and chose their own places. And I'm sure they had their reasons. I mean, obviously, right? Every place they went, they had to walk. They didn't drive there, so it was very much more difficult for them. And um, so, and here's EP 470. That does look interesting, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Let's just keep the camera running and see what we see. That's a pretty good stare there. I should probably get out and take a look at that real quick. Make sure that I'm up to it with my clearance. Be right back. <clears throat> yeah, it's nothing. Put my belt back on now. Anyway, there's a stone cabin the end of this road. I've heard about it, but I've never been to it. Then I was on top of a mountain, and I could see it, and I could see that there was a road coming from the other side that went to it. See, before I thought you could only reach it from state property, and all that property's fenced off, so... You know, I plan to walk it, and I plan to just wait for a cooler day and hadn't had the opportunity to do so yet. Uh, and then on the top of the mountain today, I spotted this road, which is BLM property. And so, it looks like I can reach it from this side all the way. Kind of a bad area to be coming out in alone. And of course, the Toyota is not the climber that a Jeep is, but I'll tell you what I like about Toyota. It is a tough vehicle. And so where Jeeps break, because they're just not tough enough, they may be able to outclimb me, but it seems that they break axles and things like that east more easily. Uh, whereas the Toyota, it just takes a lick and it keeps on ticking. So if the Toyota can make it, it's probably going to make it without braking. And that's what I like about Toyota. I'm not much of a mechanic. I need a good, reliable vehicle. And this is it. My one weakness had been tires. I had bought some tires, and by mistake, or stupidity, you choose, I got the wrong tires. I didn't get LTs. And what that means is they didn't have any sidewall protection. Man, can you see all the little caves? in uh, this sandstone, by the way, just to interrupt myself. On the way back, I need to check those. Anyway, so I went out recently, starting to slide around a little there, and I bought some uh, BF Goodrich All-Terrain KO2s. Uh, they've got great protection and great sidewall protection, and they're a very cleated tire. Not all that comfortable on the pavement, but for somebody that does a lot of four-wheel driving, I'd say that they're probably well worth it, you know? I just feel a lot better. Man, that is some rocky, rocky stuff. Wow. My goodness. And it's funny, from the top of the mountain, it looks so smooth, you know? This is definitely an area you wouldn't want to be in without good sidewall protection. I'm just going to tell you right now. Wow. Anyway, got through that little rough patch. And 
I'm anticipating, maybe wrongly, that uh, the rest of this run is not going to be so bad. Yep, I can see the stone cabin up ahead. A little bit of rock on the road, but eh, nothing too severe. But this is definitely a place where you want to have sidewall protection. nine and a half inches clearance with my truck so I need to be a little careful about what I go over but you know what with a little skill you can get in a lot of places with this Toyota if it's too rugged like if it's too steep and rocky to climb with the Toyota I'm gonna be honest I just don't want to climb it in the first place too much heartburn I didn't get a four-wheel because I like four-wheeling. I got a, a four-wheel because I like exploring. I don't care too much for, you know, climbs that give you heartburn and stuff like that. I, I just, I like to go easy, but I also want to see things. So sometimes, you know, I just brave it and go anyway. And as long as I think my Toyota will make it, that's what I do. Man, I've been wanting to see this cabin for a long time. The walls and stuff appear to be up. The roof's gone. I'm thinking it's an old miner's cabin. And uh, it's not far from the Dutch Cleanser Mines. Whether it was associated with Dutch Cleanser Mines or not, I don't know. But um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I can find out more about it. We're seeing fence line here. That is the dividing line between state property and uh, uh, BLM. There's a sign that says, keep out you. Now, that does not look like an official sign. I'm thinking that is a sign back when this was private property. And I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go in here and look at this cabin. Everybody else does. I've never heard the ranger say anything about not going and looking at this cabin. And I know that uh, I'm respectful and I'm not going to do anything or take anything from the cabin. So, here it is. I'm going to grab my other camera and I'll talk to you later.